Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a tripod solve in Synthize. So I'll just import my footage. Okay, so what I want to do is animate a fish jumping up out of the water, across and back down into the water again. So what I need to do is build a 3D representation of this scene. And in order to make a start on that, I first need to build a representation of the moving camera. Okay, so I'm first of all going to show you how not to do a tripod solve. Okay, so the first thing to do, Synthize will identify points to track. And now, once it's got those points, it will attempt to solve the relative position of these points and the moving camera. Okay, now something is going wrong. This warning message here is an indication that something's going wrong. Also, the fact that Synthize is taking so long and the fact these iteration numbers here are very high will point to something going wrong. But nevertheless, we will let Synthize finish. Okay, now on the face of it, it looks like Synthize has managed to solve this scene, but it doesn't take very long to work out as a problem. If we select this point here, it's the furthest point away from the camera, yet that's a point inside the tree, and these points are much, much further away than this point in the tree, and that's fairly obvious. So something has gone horribly wrong. And what this means is the solution from a mathematical point of view makes sense. It's a solution to whatever equation Synthize is attempting to solve, but physically the solution is meaningless. And what's gone wrong here is that there isn't any movement of the camera relative to these points. The camera is just rotating around a fixed point, that fixed point being me, and that rotation being my head moving backwards and forwards. And so basically without that movement in the camera, Synthize is not able to infer anything about the distance between these points. Okay, so let's start again. We'll delete all those trackers and we will now tell Synthize that we are on a tripod. Okay, so Synthize starts tracking again. And solving. And now we get a very quick solve. And what we first see is that the solution makes some physical sense now. We're looking down on top of the camera and we have all the points in an arc. So we know which direction the points are in, but we don't know any dis anything about distance between them. Okay, so we pick a point over here on the left, and that does correspond to this point on the left. Pick a point in the middle, and there it is in the in the middle. Okay, so we are now getting somewhere. But first thing to note is this error here is too high. That's saying that there's a uh, average error of 3.4 horizontal pixels, which is too high. We need to get this number below one. So we clean up the trackers. I like to select delete bad frames. So this will delete 30 trackers that have an error greater than 30, three trackers that have a lifetime less than six. Okay, so we delete those trackers and we resolve. And now we've got the error down to 1.2, but that's still not good enough. So we will do the following. I'll reduce this error down to 4, and that will get rid of 20 trackers. If you look here, when I click fix, a large number of trackers disappear. We now resolve and we are down to an error of 1.02 but we will do one more, we'll get rid of those 10 trackers resolve 
and now the error rate is 8. Okay, so we've now got a decent solve. We know which direction these points are, but we know nothing about the distance to them. But there's one more piece of information we do want to get out of this, and that is the orientation of this ground plane. I want to use the top of the pool as a ground plane. That's the line of the ground plane there. But if you look here, the camera is pointing straight out, and it's definitely not pointing straight out. I'm looking down at the pool, so this camera should be slightly angled down. Now what we can do, and this is, I think, good fortune, the sides of this pool will allow us to tell Synthias how to orient the scene. So what we do is the following, we go to Lens, we add a line, we select across there, and we say that is the x-axis. We select across there, and we say that is parallel to the x-axis. We select. Actually, before we do that, I've just realised that at the moment Z is up. I don't want Z up. So if I go to Edit Scene Settings and say Y up, I can now carry on. So Z is coming out of the screen. but the arrow is the wrong way around, so I'm not entirely certain why Synthias does this, but I need to draw the arrow the wrong way around, so I say that is the z-axis, so pointing out, and I say that this is parallel to the z-axis. Okay, and now if I hit the align button, what we see starts to make physical sense. This is now the plane at the top of the pool. The camera is pointing down very slightly and I am standing facing towards my left with this area here being the pool. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is put four markers in the scene to help me judge where this pool actually is. So we do that in the following way. We're going to put boxes in. Okay, so I'm going to insert one box right at the origin. I'm going to make the box one unit by one unit by one unit. Now I'm going to stick it right on the origin. There you go. There is the box. And if we scrub to where we can see that corner, you see there's the box sitting on the origin which we intended to be that corner of the pool. And similarly, we want to stick a box up here. Making one by one by one. And now what we want to do is we want him on that axis. And I mean, we are eyeballing this, I'll be honest with you. Let's try it there. Okay, and now we want to put a box at this corner here. Bing.
Okay, we just want to drag him up there. Okay, we'll fix that for that. It's okay. Put it down there. Now you'll notice that this one needs to drag in. We can't really see the corner of that very well. Drop that there. So that looks okay. It's, it's not very easy to see where the corner of that is, to be quite honest. Not by the frame because that's always obscured by the ball. It's very difficult to tell where the corner is. But over here, we've got a better, better indication of where the corner is. If anything that still looks a little high. I'm going to stick that there and bring this down a little bit. Okay, that looks alright. And then the last one goes here. So it's on the axis and it's approximately there. Okay, so we now have four boxes. one on each corner of the ball. Now I'm not arguing that these are in exactly the right position, I'm arguing that this is enough information for us to be able to reconstruct what we need to. Okay, so the final step is to export out to Modo Perl script. Just put that In documents okay so just save that I have increased the tracker scaling left that it's default change that to meters and that's the highest but latest version of Modo that the export script works for okay so we now over to Modo, we import that Perl script. And there you go. And that one doesn't look well positioned, but I don't think that really matters. Okay, so if we change to a perspective view and just tidy up a bit, um, we'll just close that scene. That camera is the default camera, we can delete that. That directional light, we can delete that as well. There's our four boxes, and there's our camera. The camera's a bit small, so we'll just Increase its size a bit, that's too much. Let's do 500.
Okay. And the trackers aren't really of any use to be quite honest, but it doesn't matter. We've got our camera. We've got a rough idea of where our pool is. We're going to need to refine that. And if we we position ourselves just behind the camera and press play then what we see is the camera is behaving as we expect it to as I move my head side to side slightly up to down the camera is moving and this ground plane here is approximately where we want the top of the pool to be and that's what we need to work on next <laughs>